All right, his music has been a big part of Nashville for 35 years, a rock and roll country sound that helped create the Americana genre of music that's now celebrated nationwide. Jason Ringenberg is still singing and making new fans with a young crowd. Terry Bulger shows us. Rock and roll never gets old, and Jason's fans keep getting younger. You're chilling white lies. You're chilling white lies. Well, I can see you right through that thin spot. Jason Scorchers put Nashville on the rock and roll map 30 years ago. Full throttle music and unforgettable live shows. While we weren't the first national rock and roll band, uh, we were the most visible. God bless the they never sold their souls. Still playing today, but for different crowds. The oldies and the newbies. Farmer Jason before the lights go down at libraries and schools. But it's really about enjoying the great outdoors, farm life, and uh, just appreciating nature. That's the fundamental part of it. Rock and roll lullabies in the morning. The scorcher Jason, energetic as ever at night. Because I am at heart a singer-songwriter. Um, rock and roll frontman spawned from that. 60 years old now, and fans expect his 30-year-old stage shows, frenetic and fun. Something even the farmer still does. Is an inescapable part of it. I can't possibly not move when I sing and perform. Shows that still make you wonder, is it him? or his audiences having more fun. If you don't love it, you can't possibly stay in it. Because it's just really, frankly, too much work, you know, if you don't love it. Jason heads out on tour in July with BR549's Chuck Mead and Jim Lauderdale for the Cosmic Honky Tonk Review. Then later in June, he'll be Farmer Jason again at the Richland Library. Terry Bulger, News 4.